Hi everyone and welcome back to the Putnam. Today we're in Unearthing Ancient Egypt, an exhibit gallery of ours where you can learn about the lives of ancient Egyptians and view real Egyptian mummies. And what we're going to do today is investigate these canopic jars that we have on display from our collection. As we look at these two vessels in front of us, you might be asking yourself, what are these ancient containers? In order to answer that question, we first should give some background context. Ancient Egyptians believed in an afterlife, and that one soul went through a complex journey after death. If a person was judged favorably by the gods, their soul would rejoin their body, and they would become immortal. Because of these beliefs, ancient Egyptians embalmed their dead in order to preserve the bodies. Certain parts of the body, the lungs, liver, intestines, and stomach, were removed and also preserved. It was those four specific body parts that were placed inside canopic jars. There are only two on display here, but the four vessels in a full set of canopic jars were guarded by the four sons of the god Horus. Imseti, the human-headed god on our right jar, guarded the liver. This jar is from the New Kingdom time of Egypt, dating between 1550 and 1069 BCE. Hapi, the baboon-headed god on our left jar, looked after the lungs. This jar is actually a false container not holding anything, dating from around 500 BCE. During this time, ancient Egyptians were actually returning the four organs to the body for burial, but they still included non-functioning canopic jars in the symbolic ceremony. The two canopic jars not shown are Duamutef, the jackal-headed god who was responsible for the stomach, and Kebesenuef, the falcon-headed god who cared for the intestines. All right, folks, that's our exhibit highlight for today. Come visit the Putnam in person and check out this exhibit and many more.